What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Silver Screen Shenanigans podcast, where we sit down, watch a movie, and give our own silly takes. Uh, the question of today is, if you had to have a Norse god's power, what would you have? And, I don't know, controlling lightning, shooting lightning bolts, um, being, like, protector of humanity, having, like, a dope armor suit. Sounds pretty cool, so I'm going with Thor. I mean, it sounds cool. I can control lightning. Right. I can manifest lightning. It does sound pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Riley. Um, I think the Norse god I'd choose would be Ymir. I don't know the, the full name, but that's what he goes by. So he's the Norse god of ice. And I've always thought ice was pretty cool because it can, like, stop aging and stuff. Oh, right. true. Like, if you ever just get old, just cover yourself in ice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then get really, really cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Jacob. I have t- I'm stuck between two. They're both animals, by the way. So... One is Red and Tusker. And are they gods? <laughs> they're gods. They're gods. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But, okay. The one I do know is Red Tusker. You guys ever hear of him? I don't think so. He's like the messenger god of Norse mythology. He's a little squirrel that runs up and down the tree of life. And so he can freely go between the different realms. So you want to be a squirrel is what Bro, you're squirrels saying. Squirrels are awesome. But he has his own abilities. <laughs> when I I couldn't exactly find his uh, his abilities, but I do like Red and Tusker. I think he's pretty cool. The other one is Finrear. We talk, I tried to ask you guys pronunciation. Yeah, I'd say it's Finrear. He's a monster's wolf within the Norse mythology, which, after looking into it, I'm pretty sure he's the one Helena has in the other Thor movie. Yeah, it sounds like... Uh, yeah. He's a giant wolf, and apparently he bit off the hand of the, the god of war in Norse mythology when he's being tied down and stuff, and... He's supposed to I kill think, Odin eventually. I think one sounds a lot cooler than the other. <laughs> well, so well, yeah, but this guy is doomed to die eventually by a hand on, of another guy, and he's strapped and chained in Asgard, and he can't be released until Ragnarok. So that sounds pretty sucky to me. I'm just saying. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, uh, there's a show on Netflix called, I think it's Ragnarok, and it's ah. it's about the Norse gods and like yeah. how they're reborn and stuff. And I think that the the dog of war or whatever is in the mo- is in the show. Really? Because uh, yeah, he says here he's. It gets hurt, up. but I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, like, I mean, like relating it to like you know another like religion, it's like it's basically like Judgment Day is what Ragnarok is. Yeah. yeah. But like, he's bound to a certain rock, or whatever. When Ragnarok happens, he breaks free, and then he starts killing all the gods because they tied him up. Yeah, he uh, he worked alongside with the with the Titans to yeah. take out. Titans. Am I thinking of the wrong uh, Titans Greek. Or Greek. <laughs> Greek mythology. Oh, man. The Anywho. Giants. You know, the, the Giants. Oh, he's also the son of Loki, by the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, true. Yeah, Loki uh, gets well, Loki with a lot of animals. Lots of animals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually? Like, Loki, yes. Loki's kind of a freak. Most, most of Loki's uh, <laughs> descendants are animals. Is that because he can, like, shapeshift and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's a little kind weird. Kind of a weird guy. <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> Why, would, why we're talking about gods? Because we're talking about Thor today, and I don't know. He's one. Of, he's not so much in this movie, but he will become like one of my favorite superheroes in this mo- in like the MCU. I think he's one of the most powerful. Definitely. I think he is the most powerful. Like no, definitely Hulk. towards these. R- Are you kidding me? No, no, What's no, no not yeah. even a competition. Wait until he gets Stormbreaker, bro. Exactly. No, Stormbreaker. I'm, I am telling you now. There are comic books called World Destroyer Hulk. He has he's destroyed M- timelines. MCU. It is the MCU. MCU, I guess. Yeah, you're uh, right. Cinematic. In MCU, he is the strongest. The Hulk is kind of just. I mean, he's, he's it, it would be it would be a super cool fight, but like they don't. I think yeah. I mean, they definitely nerf Hulk w- yes. in the, in the movies. Oh, yes. later in the later movies. Oh man. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, because like there's a, I'm not sure what it was, but like. The more he, the more the Hulk gets hurt, the like stronger he gets. So it's how the, mad. Yeah. In the comics, his entire like he is he's quit all being angry and stuff, and he has yes. an entire family. And they all get killed in front of him. That, yeah, he becomes World Destroyer Hulk. Yeah, yeah but like in and the, like the only guy that can stop him when he comes back to Earth because that's the whole Illuminati thing when they shot him off into space. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're not talking about Hulk. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I, sorry, I just want to say just, one thing. They nerfed him because they took out the anger part way too early. You know, that was where yeah. all of his strength came from. 
Yeah, yeah he has he the can, muscle. He can control it or whatever. Okay, we're, we're talking okay. about Thor. This, we're talking about <laughs> later down the line right we, now. We, uh, we, like, start off with, like, these, this, like, van full of nerds. And, like, they, it's Darcy, um, Dr. Old Man something. Well, yeah, you know, um, old guy. And then Jane. Jane. I only remember Darcy and Jane. I don't remember the old guy's name. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, Eric. Eric Sel- Selvik. Selvik. Yes, Dr. Selvik. Okay. So Dr. Selvik, Jane, and Darcy are in this like van driving around New Mexico because they're like looking for um, anomalies, I guess, in the yeah, so, atmosphere. Uh, Jane has been seeing these anomalies the last couple of months or years of her research. She's seen these anomalies in the sky, and she has actually started to be able to calculate when the next one will appear. So Hence why they're in New Mexico. <laughs> right. She and can see like certain certain things in the atmosphere might switch or something and she'll notice it. And then she'll be able to go find where it's about to come down at. And then like out of nowhere, this ginormous, like easily F five tornado just comes out of nowhere and like there's lightning and like it's a weird like greenish color and it's like it's this weird thing and their their reaction is drive towards it. <laughs> that is has to be the dumbest thing I've ever like seen. And like the old man's like freaking out like no, drive towards it. <laughs> I don't know because there's like oh you They're you've seen storm bus. chasers. They're yeah. in a bus. They're not in one of those vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> those things have like thousands of pounds of weight and they're like covered at the bottom so like wind it won't can't tip. Yeah. This one will tip. <laughs> And it'll be taken off the ground and ripped apart. But at MCU, who cares? Right. It, I mean, they drive in there with, like, no harm done. And then they just hit this guy that's in the tornado. And <laughs> and then, like, did I just hit a person? And then it's like, uh, Goes back in time. Back in time. I've noticed that the MCU, at least the early movies, that. likes to do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they do it as much in later movies. No. I don't think so. Although, well, in Eternals they did do that. Yeah, I, maybe like with it, with it throughout the movie they go back Eternals. in time. In Eternals, oh, Eternals, yeah. in Eternals, they in, said Turtles. Yeah. In like, Eternals. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, in the movie Ninja Turtles. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, they hit a dude with their car. Um, and then it goes back. Which later it's like, how is he not dead? Because we know that he doesn't have. <laughs> how fast were they going? Did it say? I don't were know. they just booking it through the they middle were, of it? I mean, the, the wind was probably stopping them a little bit. Probably. And they were going sideways. True. Because there's a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, this, it cuts back like long, long ago. Like uh, people are just, and, th- and this, so like what's interesting about, at least in the comic books of the MCU, every single religion is true. Like, yeah, <laughs> Greek true. mythology is true. Norse mythology is true because, like, Thor and everything's here. Later, we see like Zeus and everything. Will even like God? God shows up later. Like, it's fun in the comic books. Every oh, okay. single religion. is true. I was true. gonna say, I don't remember that in the movies. So far, all we know is in the movies that so far canon. The North mythology is the only one that we've seen so far, and then. Uh, well, in the Eternals, you right. see some other stuff. Um, but so like, we start out way back in the day when like people are just beginning to like, uh, I guess like form civilizations or whatnot, and they get attacked by uh, frost giants, which are these, these like, I mean, it is what they say. They're, they're giants they're made of ice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and or, or do they just have ice powers? No, I, I don't think, think they're, they're made of ice. Some of are ice. some of them are made of ice, and some of them, like, I think some of them are like the bigger ones. Well, I don't know. Like that monster isn't ice, right? <laughs> some of I them think, are. Some of them aren't. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got to be. There's got to be something. in I think they all have ice powers, though. Well, probably. I know <laughs> your mirror, the guy you said it right yeah. at the beginning. He was definitely made of ice, but the in the movie. They definitely look like they have skin. Cause right. No, I think I think they are they their skin is below freezing. Mm. Because so, if you think about later on the spoiler, right? Right. They they create ice from themselves. Okay. Yeah, there you so go. So um they I think they're cold enough to make ice, but they might not be made out of ice. And do I don't think they 
Dude, like we talked about this in the beginning. We that thing that they were holding, that box. Yeah. We couldn't decide if that was the Tesseract or not. So in no, the, that yeah, is not. In the in the beginning of the movie, they we see them with this box and they call it what do they call it? Like the It's it's like the Ark of the Covenant. A covenant. But it's not that, obviously. Basically what it does is it uh, turns you to ice like the <laughs> casket of ancient winters. Ah. So they used that. It's a beam of ice that just like can freeze everything. They use that to keep their realm cold mm-hmm. so that they could live. And they brought it to wherever they were fighting at mm-hmm. so that they could use it to make more power for them. And then like the like the so-called like protectors of Earth and the Nine Realms, the Asgardian showed up, led by Odin, and he uh, loses an eye. Um, but takes the head. But yeah, he kicks him butt, sends him back, and they go to... We'll find out later. Yeah. (laughs) And so he returns to Asgard. And then it also, it's kind of speeds it. Well, so we see um, a young Loki and Thor. And we already get, like, the inclinations of, like, because Thor's like, when I grow up, I want to be just like you, Dad. I'm going to... I'm going to battle and I'm going to like save the world and I'm going to look, you know, righteous and heroic doing it. And he's, and then Odin kind of, you know, he's like a good king to like, doesn't go out of his way to like cause war or something like that. Well, he has a, uh, he has a peace treaty with the frost giants. Um, and also we kind of get immediately like how these two brothers act. Like Loki's the more like reserved brother. He, he thinks things through. Yeah. And Thor's the more or, brash one. Yeah. And he'll go into a battle and just fight swing to the kill. hammer. <laughs> yeah. He'll fight to kill instead of fight to understand the other sides. And then we speed up a little bit more to I think it's like Thor's coronation. It, yeah, it's it's uh so Thor is He's about kneeling, to be king. Kneeling ne- uh, under Odin mm-hmm. as Odin is And also Thor is in his MCU get up. Yes, his full... Or no, his comic book get-up, I mean. His full helmet has the wings on the sides, and it's very, very cool. Yeah, it, it does look neat for this little part, but I, I'm i kind of glad that he loses it. Yeah, it does look kind of dorky. Did you notice that Odin's helmet is a combination of Thor's and mm-hmm. Loki's helmet? It's got the uh, thing the horns. that Loki will later wear, and it's got, like, the wings of Thor that are, that are just both, like, amplified and, and in gold, so it's, like, nothing like theirs. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess Loki's is his gold. I guess see, I never noticed that, so that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. So yeah, Thor's like literally seconds away from like, because and he, also we see he's like super arrogant. He's just like he's basking in. The, he's like, look at me, everybody, look at me. I'm so cool. And then Odin's like, oh boy. Yeah, Odin is. He's in the middle of giving this big speech about how powerful his sons are, mm-hmm. or how powerful his son is, and how he's lucky to have him as the heir to the throne. Mm-hmm. And also it cuts to Loki for like a split second, but we know we get like a little inkling of like, Loki it, it might be jealousy yeah. of a little bit of Thor. Um, I think, I don't know if they do it in this movie or not, but his magic is green, which is like oh, green yeah. for envy, Ooh. which I think Ooh. is that's so pretty, That's cool. pretty good. Um, and then, like, he's literally seconds away from becoming king. And then, like, Odin, like, snaps his head, and he's like, Frost Giants. And then, like, they've... So, like, they've invaded Asgard, and they're down in the vault where, like, they keep... They keep uh, the, the eternal winter. They, they just they keep, keep a, everything. They keep, like, a bunch of weapons down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're lucky that that's all they got. <laughs> yeah, the eternal flame. Is there any other big ones in there right now? Because the Tesseract's not currently there. Um, well, I'm have, not going to say what else is down there because it's it's also it gets complicated. But I'm not going to say what else is down there. They show some stuff though. Yeah, you can remember that stuff. I don't know what it was called. I don't think they ever talked about what were the actual like artifacts that they could have taken were. What do they call that room? The armory room, the throne room, treasure room. I think they said like the vault or something yeah, like that. It's the vault of uh, Jotunheim. No, that's the bad one. Asgard. Asgard. <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad with names. <laughs> It is not funny. Um, yeah, so they break in and they like freeze a couple like Asgardians, and 
Then I think Odin bangs his pole on the ground. Yes, and then the what is it? The, the destroyer. The destroyer. <laughs> Which kind of a lame name. Not gonna lie. The destroyer. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But it's pretty cool though. Basically, just opens up its. It's just a big metal robot that opens up its face and like literally eviscerates the frost giants. <laughs> yeah, they get like they get vaporized. True. Well, no, they get sh- they get shot because they go flying. Because they find their bodies and stuff. True. Yeah. And then Thor is super PO'd. He is so mad because not only did they ruin his his uh, his big day, but they also almost got like their thing back to make him a right. superpower. And so he's like ready to fight. He's ready to go to Jotunheim, and he's and he's like he says as king, and then like Odin's like you're well, you're not king yet, and so. Thor's like super frustrated and then Odin's still like wanting to keep the peace between uh, him and like the frost giants. Um, but yeah, Thor's not having any of that. No. He, th- he gets all of his, uh, his buddies. The Mighty Five, is that what it is? It's Lady. Lady Terra. No. Oh, I it's forget what it is. Sif. It's Lady, S- Sif. Lady Sif and the something five or something like that. Uh, Vos. Well, Stag is the big dude with that battle axe, bro. Having two battle axes, yeah. Hogan, there's one, there's one and, dude with a uh, like a fencing sword. That's a, f- a fan draw, fan draw. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he's that guy. With like does that. and then Lady, she has like a double sword, doesn't she? She's got like a Dar- Darth Maul sword. Uh, I no. can't exactly remember what her. No, is. she just has a sword. And uh, battle axe. Okay. Or maybe she has a has a mace. Volstag is the guy who has a two axes that can come together as a battle axe. Ooh. Yeah. It spins up. One dude had a... Was it the Asian dude that had the mace? Yes. Yeah, it was like a stick, and then it popped out into a mace if he wanted to. Was, pretty sick, pretty sick. That was pretty cool. And then Loki's just got, like, magic and knives. <laughs> can we talk about how ridiculous Thor's voice is, like, his accent in this one? Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared no, to he's like, very Shakespearean, like in his words and his. Uh, well, I mean, he's, I know. he's grown up in Asgard, and he's what yeah. is he a thousand years old at this point? Yeah, he's probably never left Asgard. <laughs> well, I guess he probably he, he fights. Has, he's but, fought. Yeah, but like compared to the other movies, right? Is how ridiculous he's talking and whatnot, and like how boastful he is. You know. Yeah, I almost wonder if they get their English from the time that they spend on Earth. Maybe and it's it's and the one last of, time they had to be on Earth was it's one of my. Or uh, favorite characterizations of Thor because like he's going to mellow out and he's beginning he's going to become more of like a hero that's more relatable to people and it's I don't know if it was on purpose but like it's it's one of the favorite like characterization like progressions of the MCU and it could have been a whole thing like this is like one of the earlier Avenger movies right so like they don't yeah. exactly know how they want the character to be mm. but I do remember wa- looking at a thing where like Whoever the guy was, Odin, he's like a big actor at the time, and everybody's like, like excited to work with him. He's yeah, a big um, boastful guy as well, and like he's really into his characters because at that time he already did like Signs of the Lambs and different movies like that. Yeah, which are big, and apparently he pushed other people on set. Anthony Hopkins, yeah. yes, to do better, and like everybody drove off of his energy of his own character, and like which I think is why he's kind of a little bit over the top. But yeah. For me, oh, no, it's a little bit is. too much. He's you know? super over the top. And also, I'm not gonna lie. I also don't like how the way he looks in this one. I know you talked about how you liked him and like is like his car- like his comic book look. You know, oh, Thor. I just don't like the way. I he think. Looks. I think in game Thor looks the best. Oh yeah, for sure. Or even like the long haired version of him too, right? Like the hair at least looks real ish. You know, not just like really short, not moving and. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like. I his, think this his was his real hair though. I think so too. I think that's why they switched to a wig. <laughs> yeah, because they wanted it. They wanted it to look cool, and they wanted it to be like natural. So they had his own hair, but they probably put a lot of product in it, so it wouldn't move on it set. Didn't move. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. So Thor, against his dad wishes, they go to Jotunheim with like his buddies and Loki through the what is it? The Bifrost. Bifrost. The Bifrost. And I don't. I guess Heimdall is kind of like, you know what? This is on you, I guess. <laughs> well, Thor says that he will be the king. so Or he will be the ruler of Asgard. True. So if Heimdall doesn't listen to him, he'll remember that. 
or True. something like that. You know, something I am, I'm, I'm way better than you. Listen to me or else is what he said. And then Heindels is like, hey, okay. Man. <laughs> All right. And, and he said that not to tell Odin. Right. Whoops. <laughs> Heindel didn't tell Odin. So they get to... Where did, oh, Jotunheim. Jotunheim. Thank you. They get to Jotunheim, get all the way to the castle where the king of the frost giants, Luffy. 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 Something like that. Luffy. One of those three. Something like that. Starts with an L, ends with a Y. He, he uh, talks to them and he's like, so I, there's been a breach or something like that. And uh, Thor says, this is... This will be war, or this is like this is an attack on us. And Luffy goes, "We're not the ones with blood on our hands, or something like that." Because I mean, what was he, he referencing there? Huh? What was he referencing there again? I think I think he said that. I was it from the first wrong. time? No. Well, well, it's from this time because they got into the vault somehow. So somebody let oh, them yeah, in. Oh yeah, and he killed him. And yeah, and they killed him, or they killed the guys. Destroyer. Yeah. yeah. But I think it was it was something maybe along the lines of we're not the ones with a rat in our in our ranks mm. or mm-hmm. something like that. I, I think he threw a lot of shade in that conversation too. I'm yeah. pretty sure he even uh, hints to the fact that Odin stole something from him as well in that whole. Well, conversation. we'll find out in the later movies that Odin was not a great guy before. Um, there's a reason. Like the ruler of Asgard. Like you don't become king or ruler of <laughs> Asgard without, like, snopping a few heads. Yeah. Well, like, like, he throws a lot of, like, hidden stuff in there. Like, nothing too deep, but, like, right. enough to, like, get everybody the, curious. Yeah, we get our suspicions of, like, yeah, who is this person? And it's, like, who let them into Asgard? Who is working behind the scenes? We obviously know who it is, but. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then the they frost have fights. Giants, the frost giants surround them. And are like, what are you going to do? And everybody is like barely holding their own, except for Thor, who's just having a great time because he's, yeah. just living, he is, for, he's living for battle. They he has, find out that when the frost giant touches you, you get immediate frostbite. Except for... Except for Loki. Yeah. Loki got grabbed by one of the frost giants. And it just went away. And his arm turned blue. <laughs> Didn't get frostbite. What? I do like, mm. I, I will admit, though, I, I didn't say I like how they looked. I do like how the armor works in this movie. Whose armor? Like, everybody's. Like, when uh, Loki got touched, you know, it fell off, like, scale by scale, you oh, know? Oh, I and, like, you. it goes on and off that way. Kind like chain mail or chain something mail. like that, yeah. But, like, it's not solid pieces. But it's, yeah, like, so the, none of it is connected to each other. Mm. They're like, all, yeah. Because, like, in that scene, when he gets touched, it all comes off, and then he, it reveals his arm, which turning blue. That and cool. like it's gonna happen more, but I could watch like Thor throw around Mjolnir all day because it's it's so fun to watch him. Like, but that's the thing, and right? Swinging is he, it at he, high speeds. Yes, like using it to launch up, or like you know when like they he swings it like, and like people are running towards him, and he's just like swinging it in front of them, and they're just like getting bashed. But or he, like, like he kneels down and he's slinging rocks at them. Yes, that, that was pretty. They cool. need to do that. They should have done that more in the. In the other movies, um, they they more focus on his lightning a little bit more in the other ones, but yeah. also there is a there is fun teamwork later with like Cap Shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but like even then, it's not not like he's not using his environment to like right. So I, I, I do like I miss that aspect. Of it. Um, and I, it's also a hint to like Thor is like it's I don't know if he's I think he's just ignorant at this point oh, for because, sure. because, because, yeah. because not only he. Got his friends into this situation where a lot of them are like very close. Like the one dude with the the defensing sword, he gets like stabbed, and he's like yeah, the, bleeding. The axe guy gets frostbite on his arm and almost loses it. The yeah. guy with the, the fencing sword gets stabbed with an ice spear. Yeah, and Thor's just flying around with Mjolnir and just like having a great time, and he's like just not concerned. Like he's he probably if he saw it, he would be like. Oh, no, my friends, him. but, yeah. like, he's just off doing his own thing. You know what, actually? did they, Were they ever in the, really a fight before this? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've had wars. Yeah, Thor's... Are you sure? Remember at the dinner table when, like, he's motivating them to go to Jotunheim? He's, like, reminding them of all the times that they've had battles. Uh, for some reason, I think, like, this is the first time he's really been able to let loose. No, I, I think this is... this is just against the Jotunheim. This again. is how he is every time, yeah. I'd imagine. Um. So... 
So yeah, Loki finds out that he is. Um, He's not affected by. He's that a frost axe. giant turned Asgardian. He doesn't find that out immediately. He he yeah, he's a pretty smart guy. I'm pretty sure he he doesn't. He thinks it, but he doesn't get it confirmed. It. Yeah, right? I guess maybe. I don't and know. Then Odin shows up. And no, he, Luffy gets kind of mad. Oh, the big monster. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's just this. It's not like it's like a big dragon, like a big blue dragon I'd type say thing. It's I wouldn't more say it's like a dragon. A ice gorilla. I say like an ogre kind of thing. You know. Mix, mix them with them all. Put them all uh, together? That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Big blue monstrosity. That's it like, could crawl along the ground yeah. upside down. And it's a pretty cool kill how Thor gets rid of it. He just he just, he just flies right through it, doesn't he? Yeah, he flies through the back of its head. Saving yeah. all of his friends. Or, or does he throw his... Does he throw? He, fly, he flies through with it. Okay. So it's like its mouth, and it flies through it, and just go, he goes out the back of its head, and it, it's like this hole, and, <laughs> and it the falls camera, over. Dude, the camera goes, and you can see straight through it, yes. and that is the coolest. Like, it's a good shot. One of the greatest shots of this movie. Um, And then they're surrounded, like, again, by, like, these, and then it's like, it's like things are looking pretty desperate, and, like, Thor's like, oh, crap, we're kind of <laughs> screwed. So he's like, hey, Heimdall. Open it up and like it doesn't happen. He says it again. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. They're like all about to die. And yeah, Odin oh, yeah, shows up. He, he talked about like if you threaten the safety of Asgard, right? I won't bring you back. And Odin shows up and he is he's very pissed, he's livid, <laughs> upset because <laughs> he was uh, and he low key like roasts Thor right here. He's like, and then I think Laufey says something. He was like, this is an act of war. He's like, um. Is like by your, you know, arrogant child or something like the, and then Odin's like, these are these are the actions of a child. Treat them as such. <laughs> You're right. These, this is a child. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> someone who's not fit to rule. Can, can we talk about Odin's little staff thing for a second? It's pretty sweet. We never see the full power of that thing ever. Because right. like in that flashback when he first went, I to think the he's time, also super calmed down. That's true. Yeah. But in that first, like, flashback when he went to yeah. Jotunheim and went all, like, hands on him, right? He was destroying people. <laughs> he had, like, a solid beam of light flying, I think, just <laughs> mowing people yeah. down. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, when when he came down, there was lightning or some kind of... He's just... also on a horse, too, which was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he used horses is just shocking. <laughs> like, it was, it was super extra, but, like, yeah, he's on a horse, okay. <laughs> but we never see... Anybody, like, they use it somewhat, but they never see this full blast of power coming mm-hmm. out of the end of it like he shows. So. Yeah. He's also he's also super it. old, too. Well, anybody else, because right. multiple other people wield it at some point, right? right? Yeah, yeah, Because never Thor, once. Thor is 1,000 years old. Yeah, and he's, like, 1,500, and he is just now coming of age to be a prince or yeah. be a king. Who knows how old Odin is? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to think about it. I mean, <laughs> he's... Uh, did he create everything, right? Is he the creation of the God of Creation? I don't know. Um, I know he just, like, watches over everything. Like, he's the protector of the Nine Realms, at least in the MCU. I don't know about uh, actual. But yeah. so they get back, and uh, Odin's like, you know, get your friends to, like, the healing t- pods or whatever. And he's like, he, like, Loki tries to intervene, and he's basically just like, you know, shut your lips. I'm going to talk to Thor real quick because um, – and then – we get the uh, the speech of like you are unworthy, oh. and it's 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 one of the coolest like um I think one of the coolest moments ever in the MCU is this, like a little speech that Odin gives, but yeah, it's the clip that we got, and here you go. Why did you bring us back? You realize what you've done, what you've started. I was protecting my home. You cannot even protect your friends. How can you hope to protect the kingdom? Come to the healing room! No! There won't be a kingdom to protect if you're afraid to act. The Jotuns must learn to fear me, just as they once feared you. That's pride and vanity talking, not leadership. You've forgotten everything I taught you. But a warrior's patience. While you wait and be patient, the Nine Realms laugh at us. If the old ways are done, you'd stand giving speeches while Asgard falls. You are a vain, greedy! Cool boy! And you are an old man and a fool! Yes. I was a fool. To think you were ready. 
father. Hey! Poor Odin son. You have betrayed the express command of your king. Through your arrogance and stupidity, you have opened these peaceful realms and innocent lives to the horror and desolation of war! <laughs> Unworthy of these realms, unworthy of your title! You're unworthy of the loved ones you have betrayed. I now take from you your power in the name of my father. His father before! I owned it all, father! Cut you out! Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. It's one of the coolest lines in the MCU. Yeah, so right there he got banished. So yeah, all those Asgard. all those noises is like him getting stripped of his armor, he, he took me, he took Mjolnir from Thor and blasted him into the Bifrost and sent him to somewhere. Midgard. And yeah. That voice you heard Thor speaking in, right? His accent. That's the one I'm complaining. Yeah. About. I don't like it. Yeah. No, yeah. it's he's like I said, he's very. We'll see it later to like some comedic effect, but like he is very. Um, yeah, the accent is very like. Uh, high and mighty Shakespearean speak. Um, it's like a, it's yeah, it's different from how we speak. And like I say, he once he's goes to Earth, he sort of starts to level out a little bit. He yeah. starts to find humility. Like that's this is what you were talking about. Where when he rips his the armor off, it just falls into pieces. Yes, mm -hmm. it just disintegrates one by one. Which is really really cool, like visually. And when we were talking about there, he said in, like, my father and father before, right? Yeah. Right at pointed out during that clip that, like, there had to been something before, right? And mm -hmm. I was looking up his thing. Obviously, he wasn't the creator since he had a father. Yeah. But you know how we talked about he, he lost his eye earlier? Mm -hmm. uh, it was, like, during that war, right? It said he uh, he only has one eye because the other one was given, like, gave given in exchange for wisdom. Oh. Which expresses why he no longer fights. Interesting. Because right? it's within that last battle, he, he stopped fighting. Interesting. He, he, he saw, like, the cost of war. And, and he exchanged it for wisdom. Interesting. I didn't know that. I think with enough wisdom, most conflicts can be avoided. Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's... War is... It's not some... Like, he says, like, war is something that... It's, I think, really only a fool wants, and, like, that's what Thor wants. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so he, yeah, we find Thor. He goes to Earth or Midgard. And is it is it back to where they hit him with the car? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So, so we're back to the tornado. Back. <laughs> he gets hit and the second time in the movie. So he doesn't have his powers, and he gets hit with a car. <laughs> Which doesn't, doesn't make any sense. At least it's the side of the car when it's swinging, right? It wasn't like a He is knocked head. unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, and then... And then the tornado just disappears. True. Which, mm. I and mean, like, this guy just came out of a tornado, and then it disappeared <laughs> after we hit him with a car? I don't understand, but... Um, <laughs> And then, like, the hammer goes off somewhere else. Yes. You can see it, like, flying off in the distance. Mm -hmm. And... So then it... I don't know. It cuts to them coming out there, kind of picking him off off the ground. Like, you know oh what we gosh, totally oh forgot to talk about, Riley? That 15-minute thing with Agent Coulson on his drive to... So, real quick pause. Um, Coulson is on his way well, to New Mexico. On Disney+. Plus. Yeah. They have these Like 15-minute shorts. Oh, really? Know, sometimes they're not even 15 minutes. This one, I think, was five. Like, we talked about the Peggy Carter one. Did um, we? I don't think we did. We didn't? No. no. I think we, we thought about maybe doing it. Like, we thought nah. about talking about it. So, yeah. But they have these. They're in between movies. So, the one in between Iron Man 2 and 4 was Agent Carter. Coulson. Or, Coulson. Thank you. <laughs> Bad with names. Agent Coulson going from 
Iron Man out to the to the New Mexico desert right. because something happened out there. Because he's he's supposed to be watching Tony. Right. And that explains why he just dips in that part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Which I think this is so cool that they're yes. doing this. Because it gives us like a more of a background to it. Explains where characters are Can at. Can you actually explain this? Because I didn't I missed So this basically okay. he's just driving to New Mexico because like um scanners or something are like off the charts of like energy. Yeah. And so he gets there and there's all these these all these rednecks are well <laughs> It, before that, that's at the very end of this short film thing. Oh, okay. In the middle of it, he walks into a uh, gas station to right. get gas, and these guys are robbing the place. That's this is this is what most of them are. Yeah. Like this guy was robbing the place, and Agent Coulson does some crazy stuff. I don't really remember exactly what he does. He defeats them both. Though. Yeah, he, but he he takes them both out real quick. And in, she and he was just like, um, all he wanted in return was like Cheeto puffs. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I have a fun theory about this. I think this just didn't really happen. I think Coulson made the story <laughs> up because, like, nobody else is there to, like, confirm the story. Yeah. So he's just like, you know what? I beat up these two guys easily. <laughs> you know what would be a funny Easter egg is if, like, in that little like, extra, like, the incident, like, in credit scene for or Iron Man. Yeah. When he's calling him saying he found it, right? Yeah. It'd be cool if there's, like, some Cheeto dust on his fingers. That would be pretty cool. We got to look back and see that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, and then at the end, he shows up. Yes. And he sees the rednecks, like well, the like a bunch of people have set up like camp around this <laughs> this hammer that's stuck in the ground, um, and that's where it cuts off because mm-hmm. that's a part of the movie of Thor, right? Um, so then the, and now we go back here, and these rednecks are trying to pull the hammer out of the ground, like they have it attached to like their bumpers and like their uh, this is where we get a really fenders. a really funny Stanley, uh, yes, uh, cameo, love it. He is he's one of the rednecks he's in who the hooks truck. it up to his truck and then he, he drives and his the back of his truck falls off. The yeah, the bumper just <laughs> rips right off. Or no, the, the it fender. Rips the enti- the f- no, it rips the entire truck bed. Yeah, the bed. Oh, the bed the comes bed off. flying off. <laughs> so, and then he goes, Did I get it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um Yeah, I guess probably bankrupt because he's like he probably doesn't have the money to like yeah. repair the truck. <laughs> um so Can we just talk about how stupid these rednecks are for the fact <sighs> if some satellite came falling out of the desert. And I love that they say they have they like they say there's radiation all over and they're just touching it. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, so Thor gets taken into and get, they, get, they get food. He goes to the hospital first. Okay. He does go to Because they hit him with the car and they're like, We should probably take this guy to the hospital. True. And does she taste him in the desert? I can't remember. Yes. And it does, right? Yeah. yeah, Darcy tases him with the first time. He wakes tases up, tases him with the, t- yeah. <laughs> and I, I love these because like the fish out of water stuff here is pretty great. Where it's like, how dare you inject the son of Odin? <laughs> yeah. Um, and they just give him drugs and it knocks yeah. him out. <laughs> and then he he breaks out of yeah out of the hospital. He overpowers everybody and breaks out of the. By hospital. the way, he was restrained to the bed when he broke out. Yes. This so he's, he's still like, I mean, he's still Chris Hemsworth, and he's like, well, he's, he's, he's also, a big dude. He is the God of Thunder. He just doesn't have his powers. Right. So he has all of that knowledge and all of that. He still has the body. Sense. He still has the physical body frame. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he breaks out. And, and then he gets hit again. He gets hit by the car again. <laughs> oh, it's because they went back because they're looking back over the photos. And, in and they the see photo, him in the tornado. They see a silhouette of a man inside the tornado. And they're like, that's probably the dude we hit with the car. I left some of my property back there. Like, what? And, <laughs> yeah, they go back to the hospital, and he's running, like he's walking out looking around, and they back up, and they run into him again. Because <laughs> I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. Um, so, let's see. And then they, they cut to the diner or the their place. They take him to their place and they yes. start talking with him. And he's explaining who he is. He's he's exa- he's telling them exactly who he is, and they don't believe him. Mm-hmm. So they and then they go to the diner. Or no, 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 no. We cut back to Asgard. Yes. And Loki's like, "Hey, so I turn blue, and then I turn and I turn back to Asgardian. You want to tell me what's up, Dad?" <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly saying it in the nicest way. No, he's so, he's yeah, pretty he's, like accusatory. He's like basically like, what the hell? Like you lied to me. What's I'm, up? I'm not even your. Am I even your son? And he's like, and then Odin's like, of course you're my son. I I. He's like, why did you choose me out of all the babies? And he's like, I just you know I saw you. You were innocent. A Th- runt. This was my change of heart. You are my son. I do love you. And he was like, you. And so like I kind of see where Loki's coming from here. He's like he's super jealous of Thor. He and is he's just found feels out betrayed. 
He found yeah. out why he's been treated different his yes. entire life. He feels also betrayed by his dad because of this lie. And he's they're getting into and then it it's it's tough because like neither one of these characters are wrong, I don't think. Yeah. Cause like I understand why Odin it's it, it it's not really a lie, but like he didn't tell him so it's a lie by omission, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he didn't th- he didn't feel like it needed to be said. It was, he said it would protect him because he didn't want him to go back to Jotunheim. Yeah, I, so it's 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 an interesting conflict. And we find out, so we find out that that uh, Loki is actually the son of Lo- of Laufey or Luffy yeah. or Luffy, but whatever, he, whichever one you want to call him. Abnormally small. Yes, right. he so was he the runt. Have survived, and Laufey left him to die. Yeah. So Odin picked up this young baby boy who has n- had nothing. Probably in that war. moment of like wisdom where he's like, no more bloodshed. Yeah. 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 When he finally switched over for wisdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Um, so they go. But to then the, Yo- so they get into a screaming match. Oh, uh, yeah. And then Odin like falls to the ground and. He falls into an Odin sleep. Which is, it's, that's <laughs> silly. That's silly. Uh, <laughs> that's I, super I'm silly. Look up this actual he could just, door. he just falls asleep sometimes <laughs> and he's there. He's asleep for like it's, 50, 100 years. It's probably like why he's been able to live so long because he yeah. gets these deep periods of rest. But like Odin sleep, really? You're calling it Odin sleep. <laughs> like that's, if I call Devin sleep, I'm going <laughs> to Devin sleep. I'm going to go to Devin sleep, guys. <laughs> I'll be back. Um, State of deep sleep that Odin periodically enters to recharge. The Odin Force. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> the magical this, energy. It's like the definition, power. what the word in the definition. <laughs> <laughs> He's left vulnerable, uh, though he is aware of what is transpiring around him. Oh, interesting. So you can still hear everything. But throughout the entire universe. Not just in that room. Whoa. Yeah. So yeah, he's in a he's in like a big bed with like a bubble around him. And he's while in the he's egg. in this, Loki is is king. King. Yep. S- scheming. Because and also, we found out, right? In the, like, don't we find out here that Loki's Loki the orchestrated the is. like um, he the frost giants in. in to stage the war for Thor to? Well, this is how this is how his mind works. Yeah, he's he he's brought them in. He made he he got Thor to go after them. Mm-hmm. He told Odin that Thor was doing this. Yeah, he put all of this together. The only thing that got that made him lucky was Odin used his power, so he had to go to Odin's sleep. Mm, true. And maybe it, he calculated for it. I, I don't know. He had to have, because even and then later in the movie, he calculates more of it. And then so yeah, this kind of goes into like we find out a real villain of this movie, and it it is secretly Loki. Um, which you know, sure, god of mischief. Yeah. Um, what do you but, expect? But when does mischief <laughs> just turn into wrongdoing? Right now, he is psychotically evil in these movies. Like later in the movies. Yeah. So um, then we go back to Earth. Yes, they're in the cat. They're in the the diner. Yeah, and they hear him talking about a big satellite that came out of the sky. I like that. Okay, so like Thor's drinking coffee. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "I would like another," and he like slams the glass <laughs> onto the ground, and then like so in North mythology, like Vikings, they would do that with like their mugs. They would drink something, I'm pretty sure, and then they're like another, and they would throw it to the ground, and so like it's it's a fun little like uh, heritage callback, but like. Not something that we do. <laughs> and then she's like, you could, like, you could why did why'd you, you do that? He's like, I liked it. He's like, I want another. He's like, you could have just asked. <laughs> it's really good. Meanwhile, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll finish like, so what happens in there. Then and then the get, thing I don't like what Colson did, low key. Well, they go out to the thing, right? They go where out to see so, yeah, so where the... He asks where it is, and he heads out to the desert. He starts walking. Yeah. <laughs> where are you going? Oh, he goes to the animal shop, and he's like, I request a horse. He's like, we don't have horses. That's not how that works, man. He's like, we, we have, like, birds Do and you cats. Want a puppy? <laughs> yeah, like, you want a dog? Can I have one of those big enough to ride? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and then, then, then Colson like, takes her stuff, doesn't he? Yes. S.H.I.E.L.D. shows up and takes all of Jane's stuff. And I'm like, Colson, come on, man. Yeah, that wasn't very cool. It wasn't not cool. very Pog Champ. You yeah. could have at least asked, like, to work together, like, at the, you know, like. Yeah. I feel like if if he was like, listen, you've stumbled across some big stuff. Let's work together. But at this point, you can't trust people. So. It's, they've done this, like, like, I don't know if I want to explore the end of the movie, right? But, like. Well. Okay, probably, well probably, sh- is, probably shouldn't. <laughs> they still don't believe that he's Thor, son of Odin. 
Right. And that, that's where we see the scene where he's going into the bookstore. And he yeah, goes, and he gets a like a children's book of Norse mythology. Because <laughs> he's talking a bunch of children's stories, like a bunch of things oh, yeah. that he heard from his childhood. And yeah. Dr. Selvik is like Eric a very Selvig. like no-nonsense like science guy. Well, Eric Selvik remembers all these from his childhood right. in Norway or wherever he's from. Yeah, and he was like, that's all they were, were stories. And then he's, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then we kind of do a little bit of jumping back and forth here. We go back to um, Asgard where Loki is on the throne and all Thor's friends are like concerned. They want to go get him because he's like, this is, this is messed up. Can we talk to Odin? And they're like, Oh, Hey, Loki's on the throne. <laughs> and, and he's like, you know what? Oh, you guys want to go get Thor? No. Not and, <laughs> if, if I was to come into kingship, and revoke the last thing that the previous king did, how would that look to our servants? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Very diplomatic, so, Loki. He doesn't want to save Thor because he hates Thor. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm a big Thor fan. <laughs> and he... And it cuts back to Thor. Yeah, I think we go back to Thor, like, breaking well, into the... the f- don't the friends... Not yet. I don't think so. Okay. I think... They drive, like, Jane... Well, so, Dr. Selvig wants nothing to do... Wants Jane... What? Well, wants Jane to have Dr. nothing to do, to do with, Thor. with Thor. And because he thinks he's, he's dangerous. And, but, unfortunately... Like, so Jane... I would imagine that Selvig's kind of like a father figure to Jane. Yeah. And But really, he can see that there's, like, this like budding relationship between Jane and Thor. Yeah. And they... Thor and Dr. Selvig go get drunk one night. <laughs> Did we miss the whole crater thing? Yeah, I think so. The what? The crater. Where he goes and he tries to pick it up and fails. I oh. thought it was after this. No. is it that This is at... What you're talking about is right after he comes to the crater to get Thor. I think, yeah. I think... Because it goes... So. He oh, goes no, you're right. You're right. You're right. So, like... They yeah. they take him there. He tries to pick up Mjolnir again. He works his he works his way all the way into where Mjolnir and is. And he's just beating people up as he gets in there. And Asian Coulson's like, hey, somebody want to stop this guy? And then it cuts to a dude who grabs a bow and arrow. And we're like, oh, yeah, Hawkeye's in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. I didn't remember Hawkeye being in the movie. And... um. So yeah, Thor finds out he's not worthy. He's crying in the rain like a baby boy. I still find it weird that it still reacts to him though. How? Because remember, right? It was clear day when he showed up. Told Jane she's gonna need a uh, a jacket. When nicely so gives her his jacket. As he's starting to fight all these people, it's Starts starting raining. to rain. And as he gets closer, the lightning gets more intense. And the moment he's touching it, lightning is going crazy yeah, all around the, him. The uh, instruments are going off. Mm. It's getting hotter. And yeah. And then it stops. It just stops. And then uh, <laughs> it, yeah, Hawkeye, like he, Hawkeye asked Coulson over and over again, you want me to take the shot? Dude, Hawkeye could have straight up killed Thor <laughs> right here. Well, Coulson wanted to see what would happen. Yeah. Because Coulson, I feel he had to have known that this was something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The energy that was spiking. Yeah. So. It was uh, reacting. They take him into like a prison cell and they talk to him a little bit. And, and then, then Loki talks yeah. through somebody to Thor. Well, no, Loki's just like, or he's just there. He's a, he's I think a, it's just uh, a vision. He, he, the, uh, like the ghost thing that he does Yeah, where he's like not there, but you yeah, can but see he's him. there for one person, but yeah. not for others. Yeah. Um, and he tells Thor that Odin is dead and you need to stay away from Asgard. And then Thor is just like, he's broken. He's defeated. He's done. He lost his dad and his hammer in the same day. Yeah. Um, that's when, well, What's his name comes and picks him up. Selvig. That's Selvig. What Eric Selvig. And he, you know, he's pretty, he's pretty sly with it. He like all these lies of like he's he's a very good assistant. He's very smart. He just got a little out of hand. <laughs> he's just a meathead. <laughs> the, the thing is, every single time that they like checked on his his stuff, it was bad. Yep. But they like, let him keep going. <laughs> and then he just... straight up steals the book back <laughs> in front of Coulson, and then he just kind of. I'm like, all right, all right, Coulson, you win me over again. <laughs> I feel like he wanted just to observe him because they had the whole the whole town staked out, right? Yeah. I feel like it was on purpose. Had to have. Yeah, and then so this is my this thing. Is I don't know why. I don't know why people drink. like Loki. I honestly don't like. Although, like, I I the girls like I know in like in MCU movies, girls think he's like cute or hot or whatever. But like the the people who like, oh, he's you know he's so cool. Like he's just I'm like this dude is 
evil. He okay. wanted he wanted to kill his dad and take over. He wanted to kill Thor, and he doesn't care about anything but power. And I'm I'll, like, this dude is psychotic. I'll give you that until his redemption arcs later. You know? Yeah. Thor he dies. He turns around. <laughs> okay. Also, I mean, even in the in the Loki show on on Disney. Which isn't our Loki. Right. It's not our Loki, but it is a Loki. <laughs> a variant. So some of them can be bad, can be good. Yeah. Until so they destroy time. <laughs> after yeah, this is where <laughs> you were talking about where they go get the drinks. After this they go get drinks. And Selvig gets oh, smashed. Because it's close is like, yeah, he just had a little bit too much to drink tonight. Yeah. He goes, Keep him away from the bars. Where are we going? <laughs> the bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Selvig gets smashed. And Thor is pretty he's pretty well off on his his own. But He's had practice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was it because don't, don't they have like some kind of mead there? Like yes. that's like a hundred times Asgard, stronger. Asgardian mead is ten yes. times or a hundred times stronger than anything on. <laughs> so his liver has been trained for this. Yes. Oh yeah. And Selvix is not. <laughs> and then Thor and Jane have this nice little talk, and he gives her back the book. Um, and developing feelings. Ew. Feelings. <laughs> Gross! It's now a rom com. <laughs> He's describing the nine realms. To her. True. Yes. He's drawing in her book and like because she. Has, oh, and he also has noticed. a pretty cool line about how magic is just science that we haven't figured out yet. Well, she's noticed that every time that these anomalies happen, they aren't their stars. Right. The stars change. Kind of kooky. Kind of kind of weird. Um. Kind of weird. So and morning. then. Heim, it goes back to Asgard again, oh, which yeah. that uh, slight little complaint about this movie. They do, it does do a little jumping around. Well, which you have to. It's two different places. It's, you know? Yeah, it's Asgard and Midgard. Um, but, but so Heimdall's like, "Hey, what the heck? I I can see what you're doing." Um, is like you better stop, or else I'm going to swing sword at you. And then look, he just freezes him. Mm-mm. No, he, we have one thing that happens right the, before the that. friends go. Before that. The friends go. Heimdall doesn't stop them. He even he helps them. Oh, that's why Loki's. And then pissed. that's why Loki's pissed. He doesn't technically help him. He just leaves a sword in it. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then Heimdall gets frozen. So yes. it's like, well, Heimdall's out of the game. As he's swinging, by the way, which is. And also, crazy. Idris Elba in this movie is super boring. Like he's like super monotone, and like he's this. All he does is stand around, and yeah. he he swings he's a sword. That's all he does. That's all he really. He is gets in this way movie. cooler as the movies go on, though. He does. Yep. So, Did you know he actually complained about his role? That it Why? didn't have depth or something? Well, like, there's that, but, like, all these other people and whatnot, like, from other movies, right? He's had, and, like, they went on to do, like, these cool and better movies and whatnot, and, like, he complained about being cats, right? Like, yeah, cats like all these bad. people did all these cool things. I'm dressing up as a cat, and, like, he complained about the wig later on. They has to get, like, glued to his head every single day, and he just complained. I hey, like him a lot. Maybe but. don't be an actor. <laughs> I suppose not. Um, so the friends go. Loki finds out. Sends the destroyer. Yes. After letting in the frost giants. After letting the frost giants yes. in. Um. So the frost giants are now in Asgard next to Odin. Um. And the destroyer is down on Earth. Uh. Its mission is to kill Thor. And Heimdall is frozen. Yes. Not looking too good, folks. No. <laughs> and so, but Thor learns humility in this moment because his buddies are just getting their butts kicked by this destroyer thing. Like, I think Lady Faye, she stabs it, like, through the back of the neck. The thing is, it's just, like, metal. Right. And it's all floating next to each other. Right. So when she stabbed it, nothing It, happened. like, when she stabbed it, it's like its head went down, and they're like, all right, it's good. And, go! then, and then it raises it up again. Oh, done. <laughs> it completely morphs around, like, 180 style without even yeah. moving its feet. And, yeah, all this thing does is it, it just opens up its face and, like, and just shoots this beam, beam of light, of and light. it, it eviscerates light. anything. Um, so Thor's like, it wants me. Everybody else, go away. I'm going to go towards it. And he gets there, and he basically is like, you know what, Loki? He's talking to Loki through it. Yeah. He's like, Loki, have me. Take me if you must, but just leave everybody else alone. And I'm like, all right. I need to know from you guys, is he seeing through the Destroyer, or is he using like his whole shadow thing like he did before to see what's happening? I think Loki can just hear him. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so... Odin was able to control 
the destroyer. Loki was able to tell the destroyer what to do because he had the staff. staff. So I assume the staff has something to do with the destroyer. Because mm-hmm. the destroyer did mimic Loki's movements. Yeah. Um, and then it turns away for half a second, and then it backhands Thor. Um, and he's a human, so he's probably pretty hurt. Probably <laughs> pretty hurt on the verge of death. And then does it have? Does he say the line again? For whoever shoulds his yes, hammer, yes. shows the so, original. And I'm like, bro, it's so cool. And then Mjolnir shoots up from the ground, and it goes to Thor's hand, and he gets his armor back and his powers back, and he just whomps this thing. It's like he just takes out the destroyer. Um, he builds another tornado. Yeah, true. This man has tornadoes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, he he is. I mean, if he wasn't the god of thunder, he should be god the of god tornadoes. of like of storms. Tornado man, the storm bringer. <laughs> Stormbreaker. <laughs> oh. Um. So then, Heimdall, how do they get back? Heimdall breaks free. He, he does break because free. Yeah, they're, can, they're screaming at the sky. He can hear and he, he can hear and see them yeah. doing all of this, even though he's frozen. This whole so time, he he's, hears them yelling for him. He's like, "I gotta get out of size, bro." And so he by frost. Well, he says he bye to Jane. Free. He says bye to Jane real well, quick. Let's go back to Heimdall. This is a pretty cool scene for Heimdall. What? What's he do? He breaks free from the ice and takes out two or three guards. Oh, true, 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 true. Um, he just stabs one as he yeah. breaks through the ice. Super cool. Um, and then Thor says goodbye to Jane because it's like, might be the last time they see each other. No, he says, I'll, I'll be, be right back, back for sure. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. He's um, like, will you wait for me? She goes, yes, I'll wait. And then he goes back to, oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. And. Yeah. So he gets there, and he, Thor's super PO'd because um, he thinks not. that he thinks that Odin's dead. Odin's dead because of Loki, and also Loki just tried to kill him and his friends. So oh. he flies to Asgard in the room. He busts down the door, and in this moment, Lof- and then, Luffy, Lofi, and then Loki shoots. Well, Luffy is above Odin. Yes, and he's going to kill him. And then Loki shoots Luffy. Loki, Luffy, Loki, Luffy. Um, and this is where he declares the war. He goes, this was the last straw, whatever. I'll finally destroy those once and for all for you, father, and whatnot. And, uh, he's trying to make it seem like he's the hero. Yeah, it, I don't like him. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it doesn't make any sense because he has, he is, right now he's the king. And he's, uh, he's letting these guys almost kill his father. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as Thor gets there, he's like, how dare you be that close to my dad? That's like crazy, right? Thor, and then, that's, that's nuts. And then Loki and Thor end up back at the, Bri- the Bifrost. Yeah. And is Loki's trying to... Well, L- Luffy was going to have all of the Frost right. Giants come through. And Loki's like going to let that come in. I'm pretty sure. No. No, so- what it was, the Bifrost was opened to Earth, right? No, it was open to um, Jotunheim. Jotunheim, and it was going to destroy Jotunheim. It was open, it was open too long. Full power. Yeah, which and if does it stays, destroy. if it, it stays open for too realm. long, it'll destroy the realm. And so Thor's got to make, and this also shows some pretty cool growth. That instead of his own like uh, his like his, his like of the Bifrost is the only way he can get back to Jane. Yeah. And so instead of this selfish reason to leave the Bifrost open, he decides to save this race instead of, you know, for his own to go see Jane. Which so shows growth. It's pretty cool. So and what Thor does starts, is destroy the Bifrost. He, he breaks the dang bridge. <laughs> he destroys it. Can we just talk about, like, just before that, like when they're fighting and whatnot, uh, Loki prevents him from pulling out the sword or the staff because he freezes it with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why he has to break the Bifrost. So he also like uses like shows like the power of like no one can pick up the hammer, right? Yes, setting it on like (laughs) he put it on he put it on him, trapping Loki underneath it, just screaming like ah. They they do that again in like the what if where like Thor fights Captain Marvel, he just puts the hammer. (laughs) Didn't they? They did it in uh, which one is it? The Avengers movie too, right? Or did they just have Hulk sit on him? No, uh, the Hulk, Hulk tried, tried to pick it up yeah. and he couldn't pick it no, up. I'm talking, I'm talking about they did it to Loki again. Either they set it on his chest while he was up in that pen- in the penthouse, or they had Hulk just sit on his chest. Oh, I don't know. We'll get to it. No, the Hulk just just destroyed him. Well, we know that. Yeah. Um, but see, so yeah, he destroys that, and I would imagine, um. 
giant explosion. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what it was. So, yeah, why does Loki want to destroy the Frost Planet? He only did this for, like, Odin's approval, yeah. not for, like, because he actually cares about Odin. <laughs> which, I think it was, it was more of, like, it's look, a sad, like, look what I've done for you. Yeah. Now love me more because of it. So Thor saves it, saves that planet over his selfish desires. And then I would imagine Loki, or no, um, the Bifrost breaks, the bridge breaks, and Loki falls into space. Well, the hammering on the thing wakes up Odin from his slumber. Right. And then at the last moment, he... Catches both of them? He catches Thor, but Thor, Thor catches, catches Loki, Loki with the staff, and Loki's holding on to the end of the staff. And, and then, then Loki lets go. Loki's like, bye. Because you didn't gain the approval. That Which makes made. sense, because the next time we see Loki is in Avengers. And and he's, the way em- the, he's employed by a certain dude. But the way the Bifrost works, it opens a wormhole. It doesn't just shoot a beam to where it wants. Mm-hmm. It opens yeah. a wormhole, and then... It allows you to go through it with the beam, right? And yep. as the Bifos is broken, this wormhole is slowly closing. And that's what Loki falls into. And then, like, towards the very end, Odin and Thor have this, like, little talk about, like, what it means to rule, what it means to, like, be a leader and whatnot. And Thor says he's not ready. He's right? not ready. Yeah. Um, which oh. is, it's... It's uh, very good character growth from, like, the beginning of this arrogant, like, know-it-all, you know, very uh, prodigal child, like, type of deal to, like, where he's very humble and he, like, cares about people or he's, he knows, he has the knowledge now to know or he's like, I'm not ready to rule. Yeah. And what, this, what? this would be a theme throughout Thor's movies of, like, be, what growing. it means to be a leader. Yeah. So what's the whole... And then boom, like, it ends. Goodbye. Yeah, well, we got to remember, uh, oh, I had it in my mind, and then I lost it. Never mind. <laughs> the Jane's still studying. She gets all of her yes, equipment back. she gets it all back. That's what I was right. going to say. And, like, the credit is her still looking for Thor. And now she's, she's a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. She's employed under S.H.I.E.L.D., and she's working with them. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. the after credit scene. Yeah, yeah. and this is Dr. what I was talking Selvig about controlled earlier. by Loki. Which is what we talked about the, earlier, right? It's the Tesseract. Yeah. He's working under the Pegasus Project, uh-huh. which we talked about with Captain Marvel. Yep. It's set on the wall. Um. So, <laughs> yeah, now Loki knows where the Tesseract is, and that's the thing about Loki. He just wants power and control, so, hey, there you go. Is he mind-controlling Selvik yes. at this yeah. point? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's how it ends. All right. Well, what do you... What do is, you... Is okay. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Like maybe a six or seven. Like it, it was. It was fine. It's. I it's, think you gave the Grinch an eight. Rather, you hate I Christmas. Just, you, your opinion just on that one is, does not matter. Um. <laughs> uh, it's not valid. I guess it, would, it still matters. But it's right. Not I'm valid. saying that he gave the Grinch, which is not a great movie, an eight. You think it's not a great movie. Oh, it's a Christmas movie. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You have a bias. <laughs> um, so, like, this, yeah, six or maybe a seven, because, like, it's the flip-flopping around with, like, the story gets kind of old. The Shakespearean kind of words, that can, it may, it's a little goofy. Um, but the whole fish-out-of-water thing with Thor learning humanity, like, his... Uh, is like stepping stones of to be a leader. It, that's all. That's all pretty good. Yeah, I really um, like that part about the movie. Uh, about the, just the whole like Thor movies because that's all what yeah. it is is I'm trying to understand. Oh, I gotta mention this guy. I, I, I say when I go, you go, you go. My bad. Um, I cut, I cut the the uh, the villains are. Well, I, it's kind of cool. It, like it gives like Loki his motivation. Um. And so, like, and also our our main villain of Loki does make a like a compelling story of like working in the shadows, like the deception and stuff. That's all pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's nothing like terribly mind blowing of a movie, like we'll see later. But like, it, it's a good like another addition to like add to the uh, the cast of like these heroes that we're gonna see in the future. Yeah. Um. I think what, what, what would you, you said an eight ish six or seven six oh that's what I was thinking I was thinking an eight I mean I just I really like action movies comedies mm-hmm. are really really like or way up there action movies are pretty high up 
And this was this was a pretty good action movie. There was not a lot of comedy in it. Most of most of uh, the beginning of MCU like, is not very yeah. funny. It's a lot of action instead. A lot, like, a lot of the only comedy in this one was the fish out of water stuff. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like they did okay on the comedy, but a lot of it does get kind of glazed over. Yeah. Um, but I'd, I'd still probably give it like a like a seven and a half, eight, because it is a really good like action movie. Mm-hmm. And it really, it introduces this character to the the growing MCU. Because like, yeah, we have now, it's, we have Cap. From, from we, have, we have in, in our in our podcast. We in our podcast, have, we have Cap. We have, well, Cap, Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel and <laughs> Iron Man. Cap and Cap. <laughs> and then, yeah, Iron Man and... And Technically, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we don't if you want to watch that movie, go ahead. But we're not going to watch it because it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, it's technically part of the MCU, but, um, but it's not on Disney. It's Therefore, not, on Disney. not a part of not the a Disney. part of the movie. <laughs> Tony Stark doesn't show up at the end. <laughs> is there actually? Is it an action on Disney? No, it's not. Any of the Hulks ever? No. Hmm. It's weird. It's because weird. none of them were directed by Disney. Yeah, or weird or property Disney, rights yeah. issue. Yeah. Um. But so we, yeah, it's just like you say, it's a, it's a good addition to the characters, and we'll get many more. Yes, uh, I was gonna go with a six or seven, but I'm gonna bump it up to six or, seven, or a seven to seven and a half, because like my thing was also, like I, I love the visual effects, right? There's a little bit more nostalgia with this because this is right after Iron Man, right? Mm-hmm. So back when superheroes were picking up, we always saw it on TV. The visual effects are amazing in a lot of these scenes, like the lights and visuals, and like the the settings and, like, the staging of all these, like, the actual, like, what would you, what would you call that, set but they build? The grand yeah. scale of, like, at, when they show Asgard and it's full glory, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's good. And I, I like, I do love the colors in this movie. And I think the acting from a lot of these are great. One, like I said earlier, I hate the Shakespearean <laughs> at, talk. I, I really do. Yeah. It, it doesn't come off natural or smooth or free-flowing. Which uh, maybe was the point. I don't know. Could have been. And two, there are sometimes I actually hate the visual effects. A lot of the close-up sure, yeah. CGI stuff. Every now and then, these early Mar- well, it, that's every yeah. movie. That's every like Marvel Iron movie. Man 2, I complain. There's about there's going to be one moment or two where the CGI is like ooh. It's like sometime <laughs> yeah. when they're in the Jotunheim, and also that tornado scene where he's picking up the guy. He flies up at one point. It just looks like a towel is being flapped around, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, ah. Oh, but other than that, well, that was his cape. I mean, let's be honest. That well, was his cape. I know it's in his the wind. Cape. It's a tw- it's a tornado, <laughs> but <there's> and <laughs> he's flying up into it with a cape on. Like it wasn't really high def detail. It's just like this little thing flapping yeah. in the wind. No, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And so, uh, all besides that, it is still a great movie. It's still great actors. There's great plot. I do think some of the humor in here is pretty funny. Mm. But yeah, seven to seven and a half. So my mm. yeah. Well, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can let us know on our on our email, silverscreenpod at gmail.com. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Yeah.